In Boyle Heights, a 24-hour Memorial Day vigil just wrapped up. The vigil was at the War Memorial at Cinco Puntos on Cesar Chavez Avenue. It started yesterday morning at 10 o'clock and ended in a ceremony that just finished. Veterans are being joined by elected officials and dignitaries in a tribute to people who gave their lives for our country. Yes, this is not a happy Memorial Day. It is a solemn Memorial Day. It is with pride that we remember those who have served, but is also with pain. Here in Boyle Heights. Our mayor there, this is the 73rd is like year the for that event. Meanwhile, Latino. at the Nixon Presidential Library in Yorba Linda this morning, the American flag was raised to full staff and then slowly lowered to half staff to honor the fallen servicemen and women. There will also be a ceremony at noon, which will include a three volley rifle salute and the plane of taps by the American Legion Newport Beach Post 291. A memorial park in Santa Ana is honoring our fallen heroes with a drive through experience. Fairhaven Memorial Park and Mortuary invited the community to stay in their cars or ride their bikes to see life-size famous landmarks and historic moments through its arboretum. There are also patriotic giveaways and free ice cream today. We thought it was a good opportunity for the kids to learn more about uh, what this day is, about the sacrifices uh, people have made uh, for our country, uh, veterans and those who have served in other capacities as well. Oh, what a moment that's real with the family. One of the children, mm -hmm. hard to gather them all together, but what an experience. If you'd like to go, it ends at 2 o'clock this afternoon, but if you prefer to stay home, you can watch a pre-recorded ceremony on their Facebook page. Those cool wheels right there. I had a lot of Memorial Day traditions and ceremonies are canceled this year, but some people are still finding ways to honor our fallen heroes. And CBS 2's Candace Crone got a chance to show us how one Orange County woman is paying tribute. Bryant Leroy Davis. The names of fallen servicemen and women were read aloud as some of their pictures lined the driveway of a home in Garden Grove this Memorial Day. American flags covered Laura Herzog's yard. Her group honoring our fallen normally gathers at the memorial wall at Rosie the River Park in Long Beach, but can't this year because of the pandemic. Instead, they live streamed the wall as the names were read. Herzog says the COVID-19 crisis won't stop her from recognizing those who pay the ultimate price protecting our country. The right thing to do is to gather and to read these names and to pause and reflect and not to take our freedom for granted. On this classic car are the names of nearly 7,000 fallen heroes dating back to 9-11. Yet another tribute honoring those who died serving our country. Army Sergeant Thomas McPherson was killed by enemy forces in Afghanistan on October 12th, 2012. Today, a stretch of the 605 at Catella Avenue was designated in his honor. Herzog, who's worked with hundreds of military families, says she hopes everyone takes a moment to pause and reflect on those who gave unselfishly to our nation. The one message resonates, and it resonates with every one of them. They do not want their hero to be forgotten. And so a hero remembered never dies. Jason Allen Prophet. In Garden Grove, Candace Crone, CBS 2 News.